Good evening, Booktube. This is Johnny. Time to make a video. Yeah, in this video, I'm going to not show the books that I got at the um, used book sale set last Saturday. Uh, because tomorrow morning I'm going to another used book sale and I thought what I would do is just make one video showing what I got at the two used book sales. What I'm going to show you is what I have been reading today and what I got at the library used bookstore, the Book Nook. I volunteered there last Friday and I volunteered today and I got some books. And I thought I would just show those, these additions to our library. Uh, we're always adding books to our library, my wife and I. Uh, we like to have books in the house. Uh, we're both readers. My wife buys different books than I do, but um, it's a family library. Uh, today I picked up again reading The Future Won't Be Long, a novel by Jarrett Quebec. Uh, I read this today, read it tonight, read it at the book nook. I don't know what I read yesterday. Yesterday was a Sunday. I don't remember what I read yesterday. I don't have my diary with me. Uh, so I read that today. Uh, I've read uh, 167 pages. It's about 340 pages. So, uh, my judgment on the novel has not changed, but I'm understanding more why the subject matter of the book. Uh, so I'm more a little bit more symp sympathetic towards the book, but I still think it's poorly written. And I got back out tonight to read some of this. After the, I make this video, I'm going to read The Royal Family again by William T. Voldman. Uh, this book has 780 pages. I've read 453. So that's what I'm reading tonight and today. First of all, I want to mention that I mentioned that last week my wife was gone for seven days. She went out to Denver, Colorado to visit our daughter and her family, Andy, Louisa, Margaret, and Jack, baby Jack. And she bought home books for me. She called me up one day when she was out in Denver. She was at a, a library and they had used books for sale. And she, she always looks for me and calls me up on her cell phone and... And she asked me if I had certain books. And she mentioned this book, which I didn't have, which is a biography. Those who watch my videos know that I am into biographies, memoirs, letters, autobiography. But she picked up this not, uh, biography of Osbert Sitwell by Philip Ziegler. Uh, Osbert Sitwell was the brother of Edith Sitwell. They were um, part of the literary scene of the 1930s in Britain. Uh, it says here, at the heart of every literary fact case from the 1918 until the, after 1945, Asbert was a close friend and sometimes sparring partner of T.S. Eliot Otis Huxley, Evelyn Wan, Sarah Conley, and the ferocious enemy of Noel, Noel Howard, the, the Leviite, and Winston Churchill. Uh, so this is a, a biography um, of Asbert Sitwell. He was uh, in, that, uh, in that circle. Uh, so I like reading biographies at that time period, so she got me that. And then she was at another used book sale at some church, and she found this book for me, and she brought it home. This is Great Prints and Printmakers. 
She got this book for two dollars. It's just it's called Great Prints and Printmakers. There's all kinds of prints in here, you know, famous prints. Uh, like, uh, you know, things like that, and more modern ones, just prints, and the history of these prints, this Picasso, this one's coming out. So she got me this book, so, Great Prints and Great, Great Prints and Printmakers, this is, uh, published by Harry N. Abrams. Well, it's by Herman J. Witch Witchler. So my wife got me these two books when she was out in Denver. Uh, I'll start with the book I got today. I volunteered and I got this as a my free book for volunteering today. This is in the Library of America. This is Carson McKellar's Complete Novels. She's known for her novel, The Heart is a Lonely Hunter. Uh, Reflections in the Golden Eye was once made into a movie starring Marlon Brando. I watched that years ago. And The Ballad of a Sad Cafe, Member of the Wedding, Clock Without Hands. These are her complete novels. This is uh, in the Library of America. I got that today. as. For volunteering and then last Friday I got a bunch of books and these are the uh, oh I forgot to mention that Stephen Don Steve uh, Steve Donahue sent me a book I saw this book in his reviews and he had two copies and I asked him if I could have a copy and he sent it to me he was very gracious the Age of Eisenhower, America and the World in the 1950s by William I. Hitchcock. So thank you, Steve Donahue. Uh, I recommend you if, you, if you're into books and knowing what's coming out as far as new books, and Steve's a good resource. So I got to, at last Friday, I got these books. I. I bought this book. This is the, in the Library of America. These are the uh, the writings, nature writings of John Murr. He's a great. I have this book over here, The Wilderness World of John Murr uh, by Ed uh, Edwin Way Teal. So these are his nature writings, story of my boyhood and youth, first summer in the Sierra, the mountains of California, essays. So I got that, John Murr. So I got that. Then I picked up this book. Uh, this is called Medicine, Treasury of Art and Literature. It's kind of like a little history of the history of medicine but with all these kinds of illustrations and artwork. I like the artwork in the book. It goes through all the, throughout the time period. I like the artwork and that's why I got it. It was only like four dollars. So, I like kind of these kind of books. I'm just kind of into them. So I got that. Medicine, a treasury of art and literature. And then I picked up this biography on Winston Churchill that's very famous, The Last Lion. This is, it starts out with The Last Lion, Winston Ch Spencer Churchill, Visions of Glory, 1874 to 1932 by William Manchester. I collect all the books of William Manchester, the historian. I've showed him in the past. So this is volume one. And then you have The Last Lion, Winston Spencer Churchill Alone, 1932 to 1940 by William Manchester. And then The Last Lion, William Spencer Churchill, Defender of the Realm, 
1940 to 1965. This is by William Manchester and Paul Reed. So I got this famous, this is a very famous biography at Winston Churchill. So I got that. And then I picked up this book, uh, 50 Writers, an Anthology of 19th Century Russian Short Stories. A lot of these uh, writers in here I've never heard of, these Russian writers. And so I, it was only $2. And then I picked up another Simon Sh 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 Shuma, The Power of Art. Uh, I just showed you a book of his. Um, I collect him. Uh, this is like a, a history of art. Once again, I like the a uh, lot of illustrations in it, paintings. He goes into the history of these, like Turner, Van Gogh. He has a chapter on oh, okay, okay, you know Rembrandt, Picasso. Anyway, I like. Those who watch my videos know that I've always been into art, art history. I like reading about art, art uh, artists. I like looking at um, things like that. So that's what I got at the book nook the last two times I volunteered. So my wife brought me Osbert Sitwell, a biography by Philip Ziegler. Uh, she bought me, she bought home from Denver great prints and printmakers and so and Steve Donahue sent me this really nice book The Age of Eisenhower so those are the books I got the book knock books I'm reading books my wife sent me and I got a I got some other books uh, I got at the used book sale Saturday, but I'll show those in the next video. So yeah, today is March the 12th. It's a Monday night. It's 822 here in West Michigan. Tomorrow is a Tuesday. The book sale is just not that far from where we live. and I'll be there around 9 o'clock in the morning in line. And, and then I have to stop by a feed store and get corn for our birds. And there's some thrift stores I'll stop by on the way home. Maybe I'll find some something that I will show in the next video. So that's what's going on here in my book world. Like I said, it's today I read The Future Won't Be Long by Jarrett Quebec. And I'll read The Royal Family Tonight by Voldman. I'll put all these books downstairs. Uh, last night I took down into the lower level 30 books that I had on my to be read pile here in the living room. I took down 30 books. I said, I'll never get to all those books. So I took them downstairs and now I don't know where to put them. I put them on the bed downstairs and I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put these 30 books. And where am I gonna put these books I showed you tonight? I don't have any idea. I'm running out of room. I don't know, it's just, it's insanity. But when um, there's nothing so wonderful as being book mad. So I hope you will have a good week. I hope you're all well. I hope you're having a good reading times. I thank you for the subscribers. I thank you for the comments. And uh, yeah, I haven't, sh uh, as what I've been reading in the mornings, uh, today, uh, I don't know, today I didn't get around to reading anything this morning. I left for the book nook. But I'll show those in the next video, what I'm reading in the mornings for my devotions, for my um, quiet time before the Lord. I'm always reading the Bible, so don't worry about me. The Lord is the Lord is good. So I'll sign off. I'll download this. And until the next time, bye.